Hi there, this is Penelope. This is question 7 of the D4102 trimester 2 2018 exam. It's the first of the calculus techniques question. Section B is worth 20 marks. It's both questions in the section are compulsory and each of them, as you can see here, is worth 10 marks. Just note that for all of these, simplification is, is not required. Okay, so the first one, y equals f of x, which is equal to 27x squared minus e to the x. Use your list of, of derivatives if you can't remember. So the derivative of 27x squared, 2 times 27 is 54 x to the power of 2 minus 1, which is just 1, and the derivative of e to the x is straight out e to the x. Easy one mark. Second part. Now it's written in a different way. It doesn't matter. It still says find the derivative. So find the derivative of root x plus 2 to sine x. First up, you need to write root x as a power. Square root of x is x to the power of a half. Then you can differentiate it. It's a half x to the power of negative a half plus two times the derivative of sine x, which is cos x. And you can leave it like that. You don't need to worry about simplification. Part C, straightforward enough. You are finding the derivative of a natural log function. And remember the rule for that is it's the derivative of the bracket over the bracket, so it becomes 1 over x. Part D, a little bit more complicated, but not a great deal. You've been given that p equals t squared, and you need to find p dash. Okay, so what we need to do is we we need to... Um, Oops, Daisy, I haven't written in that properly. We need to do some substitution there. Actually, don't be daft. When I write out the question properly, of course, it's not substitution. It's a product. It's something times something. Okay, so it's a product. So if it's a product, then guess what, folks? You use the product rule. Right, let u equal t squared, let v equal the second function, then find u dash, then find v dash, look it up on your tables, then p dash is t squared times sec squared t plus the other one 2t times tan t. And you don't have to do anything else, you can just leave it like that. The last part is an application question, really, but it's slipped in here. Find the equation of the tangent to a curve. The curve is x cubed minus x squared. Now remember, the equation of a tangent will be a straight line, so it will be y equals mx plus c, and the point in question is 1 zero. Now it's three marks, so it's a little bit of work. So to find the equation of the tangent, you need to first find the slope. Slope equation first. And we need to find that when x equals 1, the slope is m, which in this case is 3 minus 2, which is 1. Now put that into y equals mx plus c. So we know that y is equal to 0, m is now 1, x is 1, and we need that to find c. So c is equal to negative 1. Gives that our tangent line is m, which is 1, I don't need to write that, x minus c which is 1. 